Hey, hey, Kidaholic Kids fans, it's Amy here, and I'm up with a 12 by 12 layout using one of our gorgeous cut files from this month. Uh, it is the gorgeous flower one with the lovely uh, little dangly pieces from it. Uh, and what I've done is actually cut that one out in uh, some pink, just plain pale pink cardstock. Uh, and now I am going through the gorgeous uh, pattern papers. And we've got the Coco Vanilla Studio Happiness Collection this month in our kits. Uh, and I am just going through auditioning which papers would go best with this cut file. Uh, now I did cut it on the coloured paper, cards, or coloured cardstock, just to give it a bit of, I don't know, something different uh, instead of your stock standard white cardstock. I knew that the Happiness Collection had lots of pinks and, and that sort of tones through it. Um, and that somewhere along the line I would be able to make it pop a bit better off the page than just a plain white cardstock. It was just, just the way I was feeling. Uh, I kind of been liking a little bit lately, every now and again, I guess, cutting my cut files using just a plain cardstock or even a bit of a like a pale pattern paper. I think last month I might have even done that actually. Uh, maybe it wasn't the month before anyway one of them so what I'm scrapping today is this black and white fo a photo uh, it's an old one of myself um, with my little one from 2013 so she was only a few weeks old here uh, she's just turned six so it's a bit old um, so yes it's a bit old but it is in black and white so uh, I don't usually scrap black and white photos I don't usually print black and white photos um, I don't know why I just generally don't um, I think because I don't I don't know I don't print photos off that um, need to be in black and white I guess for me black and white photos need to kind of mask any imperfections if they're a bit blurry or things like that uh, I didn't print this photo this was actually a spare I think my partner had printed for a project he did for a present uh, and so I just stashed it in my photo box and I was just going through to find the perfect photo to do this uh, project and yeah this one jumped out at me but yeah, I don't usually use black and white. So I actually just saw up on the subby page that someone had asked, or Steph might have asked, about who scraps black and white or do you scrap colour more. And I have to say I'm a coloured photo girl. I think because I use colour as my main way of deciding how I will scrap or what I would scrap with, uh, like what supplies I will use. So maybe that's why. Maybe I should try and another challenge to myself is use some more black and white. Anyway, so my cut file. Back my cut file with some of the pattern papers, three different ones. Just the uh, like rose flower petal kind of things. Uh, and now I'm just going to pop them up on some double-sided foam. Um, not double-sided foam, but some foam pieces to give them a little bit of dimension. Plus I'm adding some of those uh, chipboard frames to the background. I just felt something else was needed behind the cut file. I just, for me, I wanted something in the background, um, in behind a bit more and of the cut file and that's what I put. I wanted to use these frames a little bit so that's what I'm going to do. I didn't colour them, I left them plain, uh, which again is something unusual for me. I usually like to colour my uh, chipboard, but I didn't. I'd left it raw just to see what I would do with it. Oh, I've jumped myself ahead here. So I opened this packet of the Chamel um, little embellishment, like pretties, sparkly pieces that we got. And then was like, hang on a second. I need to sort of put my photo and everything else down. I was a bit rusty on it for the moment. I hadn't scrapped in like a week and I was like, ooh. So, yes. So then I decided that uh, I would put my photo down and it needed some framing behind it as well. Instead of using paper layers, I would use some frame layers. Uh, that's what I'm calling it. So that's what I did. I sort of chucked one paper, like cardstock die cut layer piece behind it. Oh my God, find the words. 10 o'clock at night, don't do a voiceover. 
uh, and then I just put another one of those chipboards just to go of the frames just to do a bit of the uh, rule of three there with the chipboard frames and I used the the Coco Vanilla Studio words to uh, do my title which was thankful for this life it was going to try and be this day but I realized the days day was spelt with an s so it was plural so it didn't make sense and now comes the fun part of using all the embellishments. So I start by, this is our printable sheet, exclusive printables for the month. Uh, they came on the sheet this month instead of pre-cut. Usually they get pre-cut. But I think there were some technical difficulties with the cutting machine this month. So, But I actually, liked, I actually didn't mind them like this. It meant that I could sort of just pull the sheet out and cut what I wanted as much as fussy cutting drives me nuts. Uh, it was actually much better than digging through another pile of embellishments. So it kind of worked for me. Uh, grabbing one of the washies, I think it says Paradise Found here or something. So I added that one just because I thought it needed something on the top. Just draw your eye a little bit to the top there. And just going back to that printable sheet, I wanted to try and use a little bit out of this one in this project of our Kitaholics printables, exclusives. Uh, I don't always get around to using all of the printables and I just, they go to waste otherwise, I just sit them in my stash. So get them out and get them used. just I think I'm fussy cutting the butterfly out which I'm not sure why I didn't edit this bit of the video out so I apologize everybody my my other glue you probably see me fighting with it needs to be filled up again And another one of those printables that is, I think it says, um, you are so loved maybe. And I did pop my photo on some foam as well. Uh, just because, again, it's sitting up on one of those uh, chipboard frames. So it did give it a little bit of unevenness. Uh, so yeah, so I just thought it would be best to uh, just give it, make sure it was all even and level. As well as add a little bit of dimension to the page which was good. It looks quite good. Now I get to play with these Chamel pretties. So these wood buttons go down first. I find a few spots for those and then I play around with the lovely sparkly sequins and the enamel dots just to pop them in and around the page and around the cut file a little bit. This is a cute little pack to have without having too many. You don't have a big pack of sequins, big pack of enamel dots, and a big pack of your uh, flares there or wooden buttons. You got a nice little even mix of them all, which is good. So just making kind of like little clusters of these. So popping three of each kind of thing down. So you know I might put a little flare badge and then you know um, a wooden button whatever you want to call it an enamel dot and a sequin or you know if there's another die cut there like on the right hand side there's a flower and so I just pop a sequin and another enamel dot there um, just sort of to give balance uh, and just yeah even it out a little bit keep your eyes sort of a bit balanced like I'm looking at the page now on my screen and it looks just nice and even now I'm just going to add, we've got some acrylic stars uh, in the blue, black and white I think uh, and a sparkly one I think from memory uh, in the kit as well. So I'm just adding those on um, and they just add a nice little sparkly touch to the 
page as well and just a different shape and then I decide that the um, I want to add some layers underneath the cut file as well just to add another little bit more interest uh, to it as and you know it is a bit of over embellishing to, to some possibly you could leave it without having all of that underneath but I just thought it looked a little plain it needs some pops of color because you know why not I think with the black and white photo it did need a bit of color to it just to uh, even it out especially with the black and white words uh, otherwise it might have looked too flat and boring well for me it would have anyway so I like my color um, it's going in my girls album so you know it needs to be colorful and pretty oh this one I struggled with it was really finicky I think because I was trying to get my fat fingers in underneath <laughs> I have the most awkward fingers and they just weren't working for me very well and I couldn't find my tweezers quickly enough So I hope you're all having fun with your April kit, uh, getting some great inspiration from us here at the design team. Um, I'm certainly loving diving into these kits. As soon as I open my drawer with them in there, I've got like a million ideas flowing. So I'm just doing this voiceover and then probably heading back to my desk to do a little bit more before bed. It is, what day is it? It's actually Good Friday today. So we've had a nice day. I'm just hanging out some family time, which is good. Uh, so I hope you've had a lovely day wherever you are uh, and yeah so it's just a anyway just a beautiful collection uh, I think it's the uh, creative flow happening so now just playing with little bits and pieces of the die cuts from the pack that we got in the kit which is the happiness one just adding some final touches and then this layout will pretty much be completed I have a fair few close-ups of the video um, of the layout at the end so stay tuned for that and you can see exactly what each of the uh, parts look like don't forget if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments or pop over to the Facebook group uh, you need to if you're not a member already request to join um, yeah and I can answer them for you but the cut file was pretty easy if you want it you need to email Steph to get them uh, you do need to be a member I believe uh, and yeah so as I said just wrapping this up I think what am I adding now oh a flower Just adding the date and I actually think I'm all finished so thank you very much for watching I will see you again next week with my next project bye for now